first impressions, it smells unbelievable. Lucali's in Brooklyn. Again, it's in the conversation. It's one of the best pizzas in the state. Jay-Z, David Beckham, all say this is their favorite. Um, and out of all the places we've been, I don't think there's been a queue like this. So on the website, it says, turn up at four to register an interest in a table at five. When we turned up at 3.45, the well, this is getting nice and early. 3.45, we were halfway down the queue. This queue, look, it goes, well, it was going all the way back to the end. Um, Delhi over there. This is people over here. Like 50 or 60 people, pre four o'clock. They got to wait an hour. So wait an hour. <laughs> this is where it gets worse. <laughs> get to the front. Uh, so I just want to get a takeaway. You can't have a takeaway till 5.45. Yeah. She said, would you rather have a table at five? <laughs> want to eat outside, <laughs> keep it legit. So now we've got to wait here till... So what's the time now? We've just gone four. <laughs> so I've got, it's got almost four. So now I've got an hour and 45 minutes to wait for the pizza. Look, this is talked about as one of the, one of the greatest pizzas. If you're interested in your New York pizza knowledge and all that sort of stuff, just Google Lucali's uh, New York, Brooklyn, and you'll see this guy. Started off as a construction engineer, turned his hand to making pizzas, like not even that long ago. Has built up the most incredible clientele, and how do you de craft this demand <laughs> like this? These stupid f***ing rules. <laughs> can't, you can't have a takeaway till five or five. Who made that rule? But got, do you know what? I kind of like it. They've got to have the people inside first. My feet hurt. I did 20,000 steps yesterday. Already got 10,000 under my belt already today. I'm fat, I'm overweight, my feet hurt. It's what a pizza. I've never got an hour, an hour and a half to wait. You're going to have to go for a walk. <clears throat> we have to do something, bruv. The Carly, coming soon. One eternity later. Do I look defeated already? <laughs> Right, bruv, come here, look. Time check, 5.45. <clears throat> Two hour wait Two for hours. pizza. <laughs> Can we, okay, so we were basically sat over there on some stairs. <laughs> Just feeling the birds. <laughs> this is the maddest place I've ever been to in my life. People turn up now and then literally comes this red rope, look at them. Next day we're nine o'clock. Like, she's like this. You're on the table for an hour. That's it. Right. Here it is. Are you ready? Some people are saying this is the best. A lot of people. A lot of people are saying it's the best. Jay-Z. No. We, we really have gone to the cream of the crop. If you're watching this now, by the way, and you think we haven't, where have we got to go next? Where? Please. So I feel like we've f***ing smashed them. Are you ready, bruv? Hey, hey. Again, mate, totally different. That one looks mega. Look at this continental greenery in the corners. <laughs> First impressions, it smells unbelievable. So aromatic. Can I look at this crust? Look at that. Wow. Do you feel how light that was? <laughs> That is, it's like a cloud. It looks what? insane. I'm gonna stand up, this it's just got real. Here we go, okay. Let's go for this piece I've already touched. Did you hear that crunch? Yeah. Did you hear that crunch? Oh. That in my hand feels like a pillow, like light. It's like a prawn cracker. Look! Yes. Me. It's like a good amount of cheese as so, well. Like crispy little bits, like, come on, let's go. Fresh out the oven. Hey. What was your name again, sorry? Chris. Chris, come sit down. You just ate inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that? Incredible, yeah, unbelievable. 
what do you think of it? Oh, I've not had a pizza like that before. It's, it's the best I've ever had. So you, the reason we got chatting, he was first in the line. <laughs> Oh, I'll give you a fist bump and say, well done, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Two hour wait, I think it was in the end. <laughs> we had to wait another, another 45 minutes to get this. Really? Yeah, for takeaway. What would you score out of 10? I'd have to give it a 10. I know you're not supposed to, but I would it's do. It's, it's unbelievable. I've never had a piece like it in my life. Where are you from in England, by the way? Sheffield. Sheffield. Quality. Well, what are your plans for this evening? Yeah, I'm going to a comedy club, mate. Oh, after nice. After that, yeah. Don't need to eat again after that, <laughs> so we're sorted. All right, cool. Thanks for saying hello. Nice to meet you. I have not had a pizza like before. Callum. I feel like you, every time we have one, you've said it. They've all been different in their own right, though. Yeah. Would you agree? This one looks, the crust on this looks completely different. All right, let's break it down. It's time to get serious. It's about time New York had a serious food reviewer. Time to get analytical, yeah. Sorry, Dave. The crisp is up there with giant pats. No. That, you wait. You wait till you have some. No, honestly. <laughs> I'm going to smash the granny out of the rest of this. <laughs> We're done reviewing there for the rest of the day, by the way. It's crisp, but it's light. The sauce. It's completely and utterly perfect. And the cheese, I've got variety and, I don't know what it is, can't put my finger on it, something with a strong flavour is the crust. Jesus Christ. The game over. Wow. A whole bunch of dust just came off. <laughs> this place has got the maddest hours. The stupidest rules, $31. Stupid rules, stupid hours, stupid line, stupid reservation system. Especially for takeaway. But the best fucking pizza. So that makes all of that worth it. So is this the best one? Right. Here we go. Drink watch Gatorade from the local deli. I was gonna wait 57 hours for a Coke. Shout out Gatorade. We need someone in the UK. Shout out Gatorade. My concluding thoughts are, this has all the crisp and all the crunch that Joe's had, but more refined, Ooh. better flavor. And you throw in that exclusivity, like how no one can get a fucking table. It kind of makes it feel magic and makes it feel a little bit special. This is an absolute game changer. The dough is so light. It's crisp, it's like fluffy. Like literally, it looks heavy, doesn't it? it looks like very cheesy and very sauce heavy. It's not. In your hand, it's like wafer thin. Incredible. Is this the best pizza we've had in New York? I do not believe anything could have beaten Joe and Pat's. For my taste buds. Ooh. I think this might have pipped it, mate. Wow. I want to give this, just because they piss me off with the hour, two and a half hour, what, what, ridiculous rules. <laughs> I'll give it a 9-9. Nine, nine. And I struggle to think that anyone in the world can make a better pizza than that. I'm just going to give it that point 0.1 just to see, like, a bit of breathing room, maybe. Wow. This is the sort of pizza you jump on a flight and actually, if you love your food, come and try. And queue for two hours. Queue for two hours, try it, yeah. Just for a takeaway. The guy's got a really interesting story as well. He's been on... Um, Everywhere. Been on TV loads. He was like, worked in construction or something. Just started making pizzas here at Locale and now everyone comes here and it's like mad exclusive, tiny little bougie little restaurant, look. So unassuming, no logos, no... No name. I'm speechless, bruv. Just can't stop looking at it. Mate, that's a special piece of food. Kings and queens can't get fresher than that. Ladies and gents, we keep going. We keep getting amazing pizzas. New York, thank you so much. 
If you've enjoyed this content or anything about what we're doing at the moment, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video with any family or friends that love pizzas as much as we do. I know if you're new to the channel, we don't just do pizzas, we do all types of food in all types of places. Um, but at the moment, pizza seems to be the name of the game. From myself and the madman Callum behind the camera, Coconut Ed. Wow. <laughs> hey, <can I? laughs> On that note, yeah, see you later. No, no. Early on, there's a woman with a nice dog, and I said to her, Oh, nice dog. What's your dog called? She's like, Coconut. I thought she was talking to Callum. We're licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with a full review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.